Indigenous conservation schemes in Peru can be more effective than government-controlled efforts when it comes to curbing deforestation. There is a growing school of thought among environmentalists that local and indigenous conservation schemes can often be as effective as those run by governments. Now, the University of Cambridge has produced a study that backs up this theory. With a focus on deforestation in the Peruvian Amazon, the results show that local and indigenous rainforest conservation areas were not only as good at maintaining tree cover as those run by the state, in certain aspects they were better. By cross-referencing high-resolution satellite data with research in the field, lead author of the study, Judith Schleicher, was able to compare tree cover changes between 2006 and 2011 across 74% of the Peruvian Amazon. Both local and state-governed conservation areas experience less deforestation than similar unprotected areas of forest, she explains. However, privately owned conservation concessions in indigenous territories were, on average, more effective than state-protected areas in this respect. Though the study did not explicitly analyze why local and indigenous conservation work better, a key factor was found to be that managing conservation concessions sustains a sense of ownership and pride for the people involved. The results build on similar research carried out in the Brazilian Amazon, which found indigenous territories they were also particularly effective at preventing tree loss. Consequently, there are now calls for more scrutiny of different kinds of conservation at work. For Schleicher, this is especially crucial as government-controlled protected areas have been the main method across the world, with many nations pledging to create more to meet environmental targets. Despite these startled conservation efforts, tropical forest loss continues largely unabated, she says. We need more rigorous evaluation of different kinds of approaches. Loretto, Peru, main icon red dot, with auto, height 300, style default, map type ED hybrid, zoom 5, MAPCTRL1, type control 0, directions 0, unit system 0, cluster marker 0, styler underscore invert underscore lightness 0, zoom WHL1, draggable 1, styler underscore hue, styler underscore saturation 0, styler underscore lightness 0, styler underscore gamma 0, addresses, greater than Schleicher accepts that no single conservation regime can be considered a silver bullet, rather that a diverse set of protections could be the future of conservation. It is worth noting, that while indigenous territories were more effective on average, they were also more variable in their results, state-protected areas were still more consistent. This highlights the importance of understanding the various factors and conditions under which the conservation initiatives perform better than others, Schleicher says. Diversifying conservation methods could involve making it easier for indigenous and local governments to designate their own conservation areas. In the last decade, the Peruvian government has processed and approved very few new indigenous territories although hundreds have applied for them, says Schleicher. One of our key recommendations is to provide more financial, legal and political support towards their establishment and implementations of local conservation initiatives. This was published in the November 2017 edition of Geographical Magazine.